Are you struggling to learn the language? Is vocabulary a problem? Your continuation is lost? Join us! Exceed English Studies. Hi guys! So we are back. You are connected with Exceed English Studies. So today we have come with a new segment. Let's see what it is. Actually, I know that most of you are struggling to learn the language, English language. Let's see why this is difficult. Most of you don't know how a language is learned. Actually, there are four skills that you have to improve when you are learning a language. What's that? Listening, speaking, reading and writing. The first part of the language is listening. When an infant learn a language, they first listen from the background, from the atmosphere, then they grab the words and they create their own vocabulary and they start speaking. Then they start reading and after that, at last, they write. But what we do most of the time, we write, write until the end okay so that is the main problem so from today onwards what i suggest you to do is you have vocabulary you have words take those words and make sentences and speak with your friends with your family with your daughters and sons that is the first important thing you have to use the language so have you heard that if you want to swim you have to jump into the pool Otherwise, it's very difficult to learn a language. Learn in the sense, it's very difficult to communicate using a language. So, today, we thought of bringing you some words to your vocabulary. And with the usage of those words. Five words per day. First word today we are going to learn is leisure. Listen to me carefully. Leisure. It's a noun. And the meaning of that word is that uh, free time or else the time that you are not occupied. Leisure. Let's see how to use that in a sentence. What do you like to do during your leisure? You may ask from your friend, what do you like to do during your leisure? Or else I may say, I like to read books during my leisure. So that is the first word leisure free time and the second word for the day is incredible incredible what's that unbelievable or something that you can't believe so you have not done your homework and you are giving a poor excuse to your teacher your teacher may say it's an incredible excuse incredible unbelievable cannot trust Second word, incredible, it's an adjective. And the third word for the day is occasionally, occasionally. That means now and then or sometimes. She visits me sometimes or usually. She visits me usually. We have get togethers usually. Usually is an adverb. The fourth word for the day is struggle. It's a verb, struggle. And at the same time, it is a noun, struggle. I was struggling to learn English when I was a kid. Struggling. We can add ing to the verb. He was struggling to do sums, math sums. He was struggling to do, struggle, fighting or making an effort. The meaning of the word struggle is fight or making an effort. Next word, the last word or the fifth word or the final word for the day is impeccable. Impeccable. I'm sure that this is going to be a new word for most of you. Perfect or else great. Impeccable. He made an impeccable speech. His speech was 
impeccable. So with that word, we are going to end today's session. So hope you learned five new words. That's all. So join us to learn new words and boost your vocabulary with us. Goodbye. Have a nice day.